G'day Carbonites, welcome back to our breeding mini-series in ARC. So this episode is going to be all about imprinting. This is my single player world, so I have all the breeding mechanics sped up. So some of the percentages and stuff that you see here are probably not going to be the same as uh, what you've got on your server or on official. So just bear that in mind. So what is imprinting? Imprinting is uh, it's a process which you have the option to do while the offspring is maturing. Uh, there's no negative effects for not imprinting it. Uh, it'll just be a normal um, bred creature if you don't imprint it. Uh, but if you choose to imprint it, you, you can give your creature uh, a passive stat boost of up to 20%. It increases every stat except for stamina and oxygen. And this will also increase speed and torpor as well. And unlike breeding in higher speed stats, this will actually increase the the speed of the creature itself. On top of that, it also gives an active boost to stats uh, while being ridden by whoever imprinted it. The offspring can only be imprinted by whoever claimed the creature. The active boost will reduce damage taken and increase damage dealt by up to 30%. Okay, so how do you imprint? After you claim the offspring, you will see uh, a timer being displayed above it that says once care in so many hours and minutes. When the timer reaches zero, it'll ask for some sort of care. Uh, there's three different types. Uh, the, the first one is a cuddle, second one is a walk, and the third one is kibble. Unless you're raising wyverns, uh, the kibble will be replaced by wyvern milk. So to cuddle it, all you have to do is just walk up to it and press E. To take it for a walk, just whistle follow me and walk away from it in a straight line until you see the imprinting percentage increase. Don't try to walk around in a circle, uh, it just it won't work. Uh, it needs to be as straight as you can. Slight bends are okay, but it's better to walk as straight as you can uh, for around about 20 foundations. And finally, to feed it kibble or uh, wyvern milk, if you're doing a wyvern, uh, just place the required kibble in the last slot item and walk up to it and press E. Don't press your last item slot uh, because that will result in you eating the kibble and not actually giving it to the creature, which I've actually done several times. <laughs> okay, so if you're planning to imprint, it's important to have all the uh, possible kibble nearby because once the creature is matured, you won't be able to imprint it anymore. There is 15 possible kibbles that the creature might ask for. And if you're playing on Scorched Earth, there's only 10. If you fail to reach 100% imprinting before the creature matures, you will still gain that percentage that you reached of the bonus. So, for example, if you only reach 80%, your passive stat bonus will be 16% instead of 20%. So that's 80% of the 20%, if you know what I mean. And your active bonus will be 24% instead of 30%. Okay, so it's important to note that the imprinted stats don't get inherited by offspring. So there's no point trying to breed in those stats in your uh, bloodline. This is more of a final step in the breeding process. So you want to, uh, you want to imprint the dinos that you're going to be riding... Uh, or you're going to use to fight bosses and, and stuff like that. Okay, so that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.